What's up guys, Mike Thurston here. Today I'm gonna to do a short video about forearm training and grip strength. Now, I'm gonna be fully honest with you, I have never directly trained my forearms. You know when you, you see people doing that, that, that kind of thing. I've never done it. Personally, my forearms, I feel like they're okay. They are in proportion to the rest of my body, but a lot of people, it tends to be a weak point. In particular, grip strength, okay? So I'm gonna take you through a few exercises which are gonna target the forearms along with, in the second half of the video, talking about how to improve your grip strength. So, what I would say, what you need to do is instead, most people have a limited amount of time in the gym. So, instead of spending all your time doing direct forearm work, I would look to implement exercises which are gonna indirectly train the forearms at the same time. The first exercise I'm gonna take you through is a fat grip hammer curl bar I don't know what the exact name is, but it's a, it's a nice piece of kit. So what I've done with this exercise, you can even do this standing. I've done it on a slight incline just to work the upper portion of the strength curve to mix up a little bit because the few other exercises I do, I'm standing upright. And as you can see, I am indirectly targeting my forearms a fair bit. After I've done these sets, I really do feel it in my forearms. So the benefit of doing something like this is not only are you training your biceps, but you're training your forearms at the same time. Now I don't have these on me, but another way to train your forearms is to attach fat grips to dumbbells or barbells. They really do make a difference when it comes to, you know, grip strength and forearm engagement. So if it's something you want to work on, I highly suggest you buy some, they're very cheap. And from time to time, just throw them on the dumbbells or barbells, uh, especially when it comes to your arm training. The next exercise, which I feel is very beneficial for the forearms is the reverse curl. Now you need to bear in mind when I'm doing this, I'm not gripping the bar tight, wrapping my thumbs around, my thumb is going around the bar. And this is gonna require me to engage my forearms more just to hold onto the bar in the first place. And when you're doing this exercise, you're gonna find it's gonna be quite tough, especially halfway through. So I would recommend picking a weight that's reasonably light and maybe going for a slightly higher rep range than usual, just to really burn out the forearms. Another exercise which is very useful is called the Zotman Curl. You can do this standing, you can do it on a preacher curl, I've done this one on a preacher curl. And basically, it requires you to change the grip throughout the movement. So you start at the very bottom of the movement in the pronated grip, and then you rotate so you're in the fully supinated position at the top of the movement. And what this does, again, because you're rotating, you're engaging a lot of your forearms and you will often find it's your forearms that want to give out first before your biceps do. I really enjoy this exercise. I think most people should be able to do it. I can't see why they wouldn't. If you've never done it before, I'd recommend you start using a lighter weight and then progress to move on to a heavier weight. Another exercise I would choose is just a straight up hammer curl. So it's slightly different from the one where we used in the first example with the fat grip which are reasonably close. This one, we're using dumbbells, obviously it's a smaller grip, but wider apart, and we're gonna do it individually, okay? So your forearms are getting a bit of a break at the bottom of the movement. We're not really maximizing time and attention during this example, but it's still effective nonetheless. And what I'd bear in mind if you're doing any kind of rowing work, particularly when it comes to bicep work, is really grip the dumbbells or barbells as tight as possible, okay? So you imagine you're gripping that dumbbell as if your life depends on it. You're gonna feel a difference, particularly in your forearms. I don't understand when some people, they use this really pathetic grip. Like I've seen this in the past with some of my clients when they train them, they just have this really limp grip on the barbell. It's like those people who just give you those really withered handshakes. It's like, what the hell is all that about? If you're gonna do something, do it with, you know, some drive and aggression. You wanna grab it and squeeze it tight as if your life depends on it throughout the entire set. Particularly if you want to improve your forearms, okay? Grip it tight and don't let that grip loosen throughout the set. So I've shown you a few bicep examples. Now you can do a few other variations using just a straight up pull-up bar. So with this one, my grip's not too far apart. It's just outside, shoulder width apart. And I've used a pronated grip. Now, as soon as I got into this position, I could feel it massively in my forearms. And what you want to do is just hold that position for as long as you possibly can. Some people might give out pretty quickly. Other people, you know, they'll be able to hold themselves for a lot longer. So I would definitely recommend you time it, look to improve upon that time. 
if you're one of the stronger guys, I would just recommend wrapping a weighted belt around you and you know adding 10 kilos, 20 kilos or something just to overload it and make it a little bit more difficult for yourself. Another way of training your forearms and increasing grip strength is just literally hanging from the bar, okay? So using a wide grip, just hang from it. Obviously your feet aren't touching the ground and see how long you can hold that position for. You'd be surprised how difficult that becomes. And another variation using the pull-up bar is just overloading the eccentric portion of the movement. So you jump up to the bottom of the repetition and you're timing yourself five, six, seven, even eight seconds if possible on that negative phase. So yes, you're gonna be engaging your biceps, but your forearms will be pumped to the max. This is one of the exercises where I really do feel my forearms. It feels like they're about to explode out my arm. It's ridiculous. So it's not pleasant. It's far from pleasant, but it's very effective. So it's just a matter of you know pushing yourself, stepping outside your comfort zone. I highly recommend you do them though. There's a few other exercises which you can do which are directly going to train the forearms. I honestly don't really do them, but I'm done them for the, you know, the purpose of this video. There's one where you, you hold onto a barbell, your forearm's about parallel to the ground, and you're literally just rotating it. Now, I tried doing this with a, uh, a 20 kilogram Olympic bar, and after five seconds, I just straight dropped it. So I went to a light one, it's about 10, 15 kilos, and I managed to do it for like 15 seconds or something. But surprisingly, man, it was, it was tough. Like my forearms were really pumped after doing that. So for most people, if you do have weak forearms, I would literally just get a very light bar and time yourself for how long you can do it for. And then again, you progress, look to increase the time at which you do it for, or just look to increase the weight. Another exercise you can do, again, another version of a static hold where your forearms are just parallel to the ground, grab some smaller dumbbells and you want to hold it in this kind of a position. So you really want to pick dumbbells which are not too wide in diameter. Um, these ones are perfect to be honest. And I think I was only doing like five or four uh, kilograms, but it was tough. Again, I don't know if it was because this was a, a very forearm heavy workout that I was just withered when it came to uh, doing these at the end, but it's worth doing things like this at the end of the workout. So I would never start off a session doing these static holds because it might impact how you're gonna perform some of your big compound movements or bicep exercises. So leave these kind of things to the end. Or, you know, if, I would probably just do these at home. I think if you, if you are very limited with time, spending 10 to 15 minutes doing these static holds and purely working on forearms, for me, I honestly think that's a bit of a waste of time when you could you know, be doing something else or at least you know, doing some forearm training whilst engaging other muscle groups at the same time. Another exercise, one which you may have seen before, which is directly training the forearms. It's almost like a kind of a forearm curl. Um, I, honestly, I tried these. Yes, they were effective, but I've just, again, I found them insanely boring. I would never do these personally. Uh, but if forearms are something you really wanna work upon, uh, definitely go for these. I don't think these are really going to do any wonders for your grip strength, purely just for forearm hypertrophy. But you could vary it up. You can use a pronated grip and then you can use a supinated grip. When it comes down to grip strength, like I said before, holding onto barbells or dumbbells tightly makes a difference. Using fat grips also makes a difference. But just holding onto a heavy ass weight for as long as you can also makes a big difference and is a great way to train your grip strength. So what I would do is just get some heavy dumbbells and literally just hold it for as long as possible, squeezing the handles as much as you possibly can before you know you eventually give way. You know the way to progress upon this is you either look to improve or increase the time at which you hold those weights for, or you go heavier each week. You know it's up to you. So that's it. I try to keep it short and sweet. That's my views on forearm training and grip strength. Probably have another video to come in the future about it but I hope it's been of some help. Incorporate it into your training and don't use wrist straps for every single goddamn thing, okay? Particularly if forearms and grip strength is a weak point for you. So don't forget to subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you soon.